Don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon to get new video updates. 5 Stretches You Should Do Every Day Introduction Even as gyms reopen with limited numbers, it's safer to exercise at home or outdoors. Stretching can feel like a lot of work, but, it's very important to prevent injury and maintain good mobility, especially, if you do serious strength training. Always, incorporate basic stretching before and after your workouts, do what feels good, and see your doctor if you're in pain. Not everyone who works out finds it natural. Stretching is necessary even if you don't exercise. We spoke with two of our favorite fitness and mobility experts, to find out the essential stretches for everyone. Which part of the body needs the most attention? For those who do not do much physical activity or who do not place a lot of emphasis on stretching, the hip joint, is an important place to initiate mobility. Back pain is a common complaint, so, increasing flexibility helps, can come from your posture, your chair at work, and underutilized muscles. Focusing on your back, hips, and shoulders can help ease your daily pain. What are some basic stretches everyone should try? Adding stretching to your day doesn't have to mean cramming an hour of advanced yoga flow into your schedule. Here, are some simple steps that anyone can incorporate into their daily routine. 1. Neck and shoulder rolls, slowly rotating your neck in one direction and then the other, is a simple, but effective way to relax some of your most tense muscles. Keep rotating. It may look simple, but it is very effective in relieving stress and tension in the body. 2. Forward folds. Even if you can't touch your toes, bending forward is a great move to loosen your back. There are several ways to fold. Stand up with your torso close to the floor, sit with your feet out and grab your heels, or lean forward in your office chair. Try to fold your hips at your bend instead of arching your back. All three options target the back, but the standing version of the stretch also benefits the back of the leg. 3. Kneeling hip flexor stretches, tight or injured hip flexors can cause pain in your back, knees, and just about anywhere in between. Watkins offers simple and effective ways to keep these flexors relaxed and happy. After placing a yoga mat, or folded towel to protect your knees, kneel on the side you want to stretch, and place your other leg in front of you. Keeping your back neutral and your pelvis contracted, slowly thrust forward until you feel a comfortable stretch. Hold for 30 to 60 seconds, or repeat the same time stretch every few seconds. Repeat on the other side, and stop when you feel lower back pain, or pinching. 4. Butterfly poses, it may intimidate yoga practitioners who feel comfortable in this extreme version of the pose, but, it's great for beginners who want to stretch their hip flexors, inner thighs, and back. Align and sit on the floor with your knees apart. If you're new to this pose, don't worry about deep stretching. For more intensity, bring your feet together, and fold forward. You need to keep your seat on the floor, and take a long, deep breath. 5. Behind the back chest openers, we recommend this move to relieve tension in your shoulders and back. You can sit or stand. Bring your arms behind your back, interlacing your fingers, and pulling your shoulders back to straighten your arms back. Conclusion When doing a single stretch, Watkins recommends that he target 15 to 60 seconds per movement. It may feel a little long at first, but, it's important not to rush too much unless you're likely to injure yourself. Give him at least 6 solid seconds. As far as stretching frequency goes, these are all moves he can do multiple times a day. Whether you stretch for 5 minutes, or an hour a day, progress comes from consistent showing. The above poses, are a good starting point for most people, but, 
everyone is different, and results may vary. The most important thing is not to overwork your body. It's okay to feel a little tingling when you're stretching, but, it's not painful. Ideally, stretching should be relaxing, and feel good. So, if the pose is above sound out of reach, go slow. Take time to do good things, only you know what is right. Don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon to get new video updates.